paying off. Yeah. All remember? right. We're live for News AF here on yes. a Tuesday. Yes. Excited for everybody who's jumping in. Okay. Uh, make sure people are checking out our brand new YouTube channel at newsaf.news. Not doing, not doing too shabby. No, we're doing really great. Yeah. Phil T's got the, all the shorts coming out. Shorts are doing good. I love shorts. Yeah. Yeah. We love shorts. Not on airplanes. No one should wear shorts <laughs> on airplanes, but <laughs> I but strongly you watch, believe that. Can you watch shorts on airplanes? Yes. But I think that if you show up at the gate with shorts, they should offer you some like panels, some pants, mm -hmm. pant, uh, short panels that turn your shorts into yeah. pants. Yeah, courtesy short. Yeah, panel. I've tried to watch TikTok on an airplane. It's not the best experience because uh, that, you know, you need, really need to be connected to some solid internet for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But enjoy while you can. TikTok on airplanes might be a thing of the past. You think so? I don't think it's going no. away. It was never going away. They're just trying to find an American buyer for yeah. it. That was like the whole arrangement. I think it'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, All so right. you think that that was big China trying to <laughs> trick America into China's buying something that's already <laughs> overvalued? Uh, Interesting. So you feel like that that China might have been <laughs> trying to offload like a bill yeah. of goods, yeah, it's like to get somebody to buy it. Yeah. They're like, hey, we're spying through TikToks. Uh, yeah, if you want that to stop? You got to well, buy it. But it's like they want to buy it like once. Like, what is it? Like Universal Music Group like pulled all their stuff. So like yeah. once it's like mm, it's a distressed asset, it's all people trying to sell stuff. Like, okay, now we'll sell it. Yeah, now quick. Okay. Quibi can buy it. Quibi can buy it real quick. <laughs> or Martin Scridelli. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. That, that was that he was the guy who was the um he got the Wu Tang clan out. Yeah. That he oh tried my to, like, gosh. Jack okay, up Farm the insulin Farmer prices. Bro. Yeah, Farmer Bro. Farmer Bro's yeah. the only way I know him. Don't mm -hmm. know his name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and then uh get this show on the road. Okay. All right. Let's do some news AF. All right. Perfect. Here we go. All right. Uh, is News AF not on YouTube anymore? No, that, that News AF is on YouTube. You got to go to our new News AF YouTube channel. Go to newsaf.news. Yeah, the brand new News AF YouTube channel. We're also on Twitch. We're also on Twitter. We're also on other <laughs> things. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Got a new YouTube channel so we can share News AF shorts all week long. Okay. Yeah. All never, right, here we never go. Never tire of them. Never tire. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Rob Sistrino back again to talk with you about the week's most interesting news stories for the week of March 19th, 2024, here on News AF. If a story is buzzing like it's on crystal meth, it's about to be News AF. If the same old news makes you bored to death, it's time for some News AF. Actual, factual news. Yes, that's right. News AF back Again, we've got some great stories here to talk about here with our News AF team that is all over North America here today, coming to you live from Mexico. It's Pickleball's top influencer, Tyson Apostle. Viva la Mexico. Yes. Uh, yeah, I am in Mexico. I'm right on the coast. I thought that this backdrop would be nice, but all you can see is Are bright, bright light. Yes. Is that a snowstorm behind you? Yes, it's a snowstorm. I'm looking at blizzard? pelicans flying oh. along the water on the beach, wow. but you're right. not seeing any of that out there. Let me see if I lift my... Hmm. I see the chair. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I do. That yes. Cares. Oh, yes. There you go. Yes. Ooh. Very yes. You are in silhouette, nice. but then, yes. So, I saw it nice. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, that's where we're at. I thought this would make everybody really jealous and uh, very jelly. Internet uh, has been questionable. So what I did was I shrank down my browser to an inch by an inch. Do you remember when like in the late 90s and early 2000s, if you shrunk your browser down, that would use less bandwidth? Hmm. Makes sense. I don't think that works like that anymore, but I think it. there was a time when <laughs> you, if you were trying, bandwidth. if you were trying to download South Park episodes from ComedyCentral.com, <laughs> Yeah. You would shrink your, and it worked better. I don't know why. It probably doesn't in this case, Tyson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it probably doesn't. But yeah. we seem to be going good, and uh, we've been having a great time out here in Mexico. There's a 
nature preserve right next to where we are that supposedly has crocodiles. Ooh. And I've been going over there and looking. And security, security has been security has been following me over there, telling me not to go over there. And I keep telling them I'm a trained professional, which is a stretch. But I haven't seen a crocodile yet, and I told them to call my room or my phone number as soon as they see a crocodile so I can run over and see one. I love it. Okay. All right. So Tyson may have to step away from the podcast if the phone rings. Mm -hmm. If the phone rings, I got to run alert. over. And they can you switch they to your think mobile I'm a phone lunatic. To, to go live to the crocodile? Yeah, Ooh, I for sure cool. will. They said there's like a 10 foot male. I don't even think the crocodiles get that big down here, but maybe they do. They said there's a 10 foot male mm -hmm. in the preserve and it's we'll just believe this little it when pond we see it. with two females who both have nests right now and they're very territorial. Wow. Mm. One one male and there's one two females. Guy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? In nature, it's a lot different. Like that doesn't mean that there's like 75 mouths to feed. You just uh, do your deed and then keep being the king of the swim pond. upstream, wow. swim wow. upstream <laughs> or downstream yeah, or whatever. Downstream the crocodiles don't easier. mate. You're saying they do mate, but that's yes. the end. That's it. They don't. They don't say. Mate, not they don't need now. anybody to babysit anybody on vacation while the other one's working. <laughs> <home>. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what a life! All right, yeah. there you go. All right, now here with us. Once again, mm -hmm. the great Danny Price. Danny, how are you? Wild weekend, boys. Why? What happened? Wild weekend. What happened? First, my, how old is he now? 11-year-old? Yeah. Uh, he crashed his bike and broke oh. his arm. Oh. This led how to a How bad did he break his arm? Um, Both tibia, fibia, uh, right near his wrist. This is fractures. his Fractures? No, I think he has to get a hard cast. This is his but, second but no broken pins. arm. Fell no off pins. the bike or crashed into something? Oh, he crashed. Someone sent us doorbell video footage of it happening. And he took his hand off the handlebar to show off. He was in front of his crush's house. He uh -huh. doesn't admit to this, but I think this is what happened. He went this up by her house. This is Oliver. Wow. Yes. And he was cruising super fast in front of her house and did, you know, like took his hand off. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. One handed. Very cool. That'll impress yeah. some people. Yep. And it started to wobble. And by the time he put the other hand back on, it was too late. So he endoed and broke his arm. Jeez. This led to no. She was not impressed. She didn't even. Or she him. was impressed. He was hoping she was watching. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, she see. I'm sure she's seen the ring camera. She at this has point. definitely yeah. seen that. Um, Is she in love now? What's the deal? I think they already liked each other. Could be like a yeah, Back to the Future thing where maybe he, she's going to take did care he of Did he cry him. or was this the thing where he like no. absolutely did not cry because he was in front of his crush's house? He didn't. He. I don't know. If I had a broken arm, I would be taking all the drugs available. Yeah. I'd he be saying like all the one, bad words I've ever learned. Yeah. He takes like one ibuprofen every eight hours. I, I don't even understand that. Yeah. What and he guy. didn't cry. I picked him up mm -hmm. uh, and then I took him home. And I'm like dude, I don't know if it's broken because you don't seem to be in that much pain. I would think broken bones would equal a lot of pain. Granted, there's shock and adrenaline, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, but overall, he really didn't even cry about it at all until his okay. mom showed up. And then, of course, I got a lecture for not taking care of him. Like, he wasn't crying. Like, literally 30 seconds ago, he was not crying. I had no idea his arm was really broken. I was like, let's play the waiting game. See what happens here. You sound like my parents. Yeah. Oh, your <laughs> head is your head is pouring blood. That doesn't mean your skull I, is cracked. Hey, look, I cleaned up all of his Hold road on. rash. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. Yes. So I cleaned up all his road rash, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't understand. If your arm is broken, it just seems like if my arm was broken, I was saying the f word. On did you do the doctor test? Like wiggle all your fingers. Uh, do this. I didn't want to touch it. I didn't okay. want to in any way. It's you really gross. Face. Can you wiggle your fingers? And if he can't wiggle his fingers, go get an x-ray. No, I know. Okay, have so you not gone to medical school? No, never. So I called Liz. I'm like, I want you to come home and handle this because I don't want to go to the adventure. hospital. Right. Oh, right. You are your aversion to hospitals. I'm like, I don't want to go to the hospital. I don't know if it's broken. She shows up and she's like, Why are you just sitting here? I'm like, Well, I got an appointment at an urgent care if I did that much. <laughs> uh so she takes him and it was indeed broken. But this led to no St. Patrick's Day setup. 
So my Lucky. eight-year-old wakes up Sunday morning and finds out there's oh. been no St. Patrick's Day preparation. I didn't even know that was a, that big of a deal. Loses her mind. We're yeah. like 40 minutes straight. We got both barrels of her emotional breakdown right in the face of just like, I can't believe this. Oh. Worst family ever. St. Patrick's <laughs> Day is the worst day. I hate everything. Everyone. What do you yeah. usually do for St. Patrick's no, Day that the is, expectations this is were relatable. so high? Yeah. This, this is the new St. Patrick's Day. Not what we experienced. Yeah. But the new generation expects one to build a trap, which I told her to do the day before. But she got distracted like everybody else due to the broken arm. So she didn't build her trap. There were no gold coins. There were no like pranks. It was mm -hmm. just... It was an emotional disaster. Yeah. She wanted us to turn back time. She kept screaming, I want to go back and do this again. I'm like, that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nightmare. That we know. Of. Oh my yeah. gosh. It was like the worst 48 hours so far, which. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. yeah terrible. Can't have these St. Patrick's Day on the weekends anymore. What a breakdown. So much, so much, that Danny at our house that my, my uh, younger son that he did not go to sleep at a normal hour on Friday night. He couldn't fall asleep, and he was uh, like super cranky on Saturday. Yep. He he fell asleep at the table at this is at six fifteen at night. Oh, fell yeah. asleep at the table. Uh, at the, he's eight years old. Fell asleep at the at dinner. Uh, that we just left him left him passed out. Smart. Put him to bed at like ten thirty. Woke up screaming. We did not set up the <laughs> leprechaun trap. And That's I'm saying that's waiting for it's 10 30 at night now. Look, the whole, the, the like, listen, <laughs> let me peel back the curtain for the, you know, people that don't have, like, it's like, you know, there's the part of the day that has the kids in it. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. there's a reasonable expectation that there will then be like an adult part of the day that does yeah. not involve the kids where you just watch t you force yourselves to watch tv on opposite sides of the couch <laughs> rolling yes. your phones for three to five hours and then you go yeah. to bed too late later than you should have mm -hmm. wake up feeling horrible all mm -hmm. starts over again yeah. and it all starts over again and that's and, the circle of life for a parent and, and so now it's 10 30 at night He's he's hysterical. We didn't yep. set up the leprechaun trap. I'm like, first of all, I'm like, Nicole, does he? He's eight years old. He be, he believes a leprechaun is coming into the house to, <laughs> to screw stuff felt. up. <laughs> We're, We're like, him. what are we doing? Yep. What are we yep. doing? <laughs> why? What 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 what? what is, why do we want this? He doesn't uh, have enough faith in us as and parents she's like, oh, to okay, keep leprechauns Okay, out. let me go. Yeah, let me go rig up some Kevin McAllister uh, leprechaun traps right. real quick. And they then, can stream. yeah, she, now she's like setting up like a box with like a stick and like throwing like uh, gold coins around. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I feel your pain and you feel mine, Rob. That's uh, it's like I I've can't never even understand this. I have never witnessed this. this. As a yeah. parent, I have two daughters and I have never. I didn't so, even know leprechaun traps and all this yes, whole. Yes, all of my nieces all. and nephews do leprechaun traps. And right. honestly, it was pretty cute until this one. This is the year. Yeah. And here's the funny thing. She doesn't believe in Santa Claus anymore. But leprechauns, mm -hmm. they're real. Yeah. They come, and I don't know why they come, and only once a year. Mm -hmm. But they are freaking real. And I always said, asked her, like, what do you do if you trap one? Like, what if you actually caught a leprechaun? Yeah. And have what'd it, she say? She said, I'm going to have it take me to its goal. I'm like, what if it doesn't agree to take you? Are you willing to inflict pain on the leprechaun to get it to take you to its goal? Yeah. And like, it's, what's your next move? It's not even cute. It's like a bloodthirst. That my, my, <laughs> my kid said, uh, Dad, I need a million anvils to kill the leprechaun. <laughs> okay. Wow. A million anvils we oh. need to, dro to drop on, on the leprechaun. Here's the best way to get it good. Here's the best, for gold. Here's the best quote uh, from my eight-year-old after trying to get everything settled down after the leprechaun trap wasn't set. Nothing happened Sunday morning. She says that I wish mom would fall into a pit of fire. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> because they for, because, you forgot. Yes. All because of St. Patrick's day. I wish mom would fall into a pit of fire. I was like, wow, that is extreme. Like yeah. extreme all over St. Patrick's day. Mm -hmm. All because she wasn't able to trap and kill a leprechaun and find its pot of gold. You've yeah. skirted the wrath of your children by <laughs> constantly being a Debbie Downer for all holidays. So yes. they just expect it from you. But then yeah. when Liz, who does all of it every yeah. single time, 
fails one time, she gets all she of the wrath. Took the yeah. brunt. Now she listens to this podcast and she's going to be nodding her head to that comment, Tyson. Mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah. Tyson yeah. knows. This yeah. is how it is. Crazy. Because yeah. Danny just steps away. He's like, yeah, I don't do shit anyways. <laughs> and and then Liz just takes it all. You can't you can't win, Liz. I'm Look, sorry. I, I still got yelled at for 45 minutes. Eventually calmed her down. My eight year old. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. By both, actually. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> but at yeah. first, just the eight year old. And then okay. the, later on, Liz did yell at me. Mm -hmm. So. And you're right. I'd like to add the mess from the leprechaun trap still has yes. not been touched. <laughs> I said to my wife, I said, so you're just making a mess that at some point you will have then have to clean up. Right? Yep. Right. Still, it's Tuesday. Leprechaun trap mess still still set up. But thank God we got our leprechaun trap in. Um, but mm -hmm. St. Patrick allegedly led the snakes out of Ireland. That was like okay. a big but big part of the mythology of St. Patrick's Day. That's pretty but awesome. Maybe Snakes that was don't want to live in Ireland. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, maybe, you know, we've talked a lot about Smeet over the years. And uh, mm -hmm. Danny, of course, we know hates cows. But some smart people are saying that the future of meat is snake pythons. They well, might be Florida? our most sustainable in meat Florida? source. No, the most sustainable meat source is insects. Hmm. So many crickets. Of those. crickets. But I think I would not be excited about eating insects. You'd be stoked about eating a python? A snake steak? I, might. I could get my head around that. You see how big a python is? I saw just this morning a story about a 400-pound pile of pythons. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they're out there just in big old meat piles already, skin <laughs> them up, <laughs> make some boots, eat a steak. Yeah. Uh huh. Very popular okay. wow. already in certain parts of the world that the uh, python farming could be big business because oh, the crazy. pythons, they'll eat whatever. They don't make a lot of waste. Yeah, there's a lot of meat on these things. And it's easier to eat an ugly animal. And I know there's probably python lovers out there. But uh -huh. I think that when it comes to eating meat, the dumb, ugly animals are the, the easiest to eat. So a list in order of animals you know. Which like is you're not going to. If someone's like, hey, here's a red panda steak. I'd be like, not mm. interested. Right. Kay. Way too cute to eat. OK. Uh, but if they're like, hey, here's a python, a pile of python meat. I'd be like. All right, let's barbecue that. Yeah. Okay. They well, don't need a lot of water. Yeah. Everybody's telling us they eat snakes in Asian countries. Well, guess what, guys? Arizona is not a country, and you can get rattles <laughs> rattlesnake on the menu in a lot of places. How is that? Uh, salty and overcooked. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I th think that's the chef's problem, not yeah necessarily the meat. And I also, yeah, I don't know. Yep. They I would eat python meat. Yeah, pound I, for pound, they they eat just about anything. They could break down bones. <laughs> they produce almost no water waste. They poop less than mammals. No, but why? Why not just let them do their rodent control, rodent population control naturally, and we eat farm and eat crickets? Hmm. That's what Dude, I'm. I'm a, a big old cricket of, steak. No, you make smeat out of. Cricket. cricket guts. So you, you yeah. take the crickets can turn into smeat. I don't, I don't know how that works. Science on this. Yeah, the protein. If you're just in it for the protein and it's I, a nutritional I'm in it for thing, the okay, then you're gonna want a snake. Give me mm -hmm. some snake meat. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So but if you're in it just to try and get your protein servings, uh, then uh, yeah, then. Try crickets. Oh, I just got a text from Brian Dunnings, uh, my friend who also runs the Skeptoid podcast. Yes. He's listening to us live on Twitter right okay. now. Okay. And he said, ugly animals are easier to eat, question mark, to include boiled tar tarantulas. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's so Danny, much meat on a tarantula. Rebuttal? Yes, yes. If there's a lot of meat on a tarantula, that one You'd rather eat a tarantula Gross. than a red Oh, panda. my gosh. I would never eat a red panda. They're so cute. Or a well, fox. What's They're also cute. The cutest animal you would eat. Uh, mm. You know, we should be eating more donkey if uh, we're going off of not cute animals. They're pretty ugly. 
<laughs> Even though that's Andy my daughter's so many animal hot that's, takes. That's my daughter's favorite animal for some yeah. reason, which I can't uh -huh. get an explanation. She what, thinks what did you adopt? Awesome. Was it a cow? Adopt? Yes. No, I work around cows. No, but well, your family adopted an animal, right? Oh, sheep. Yes. Yeah, that's the right. sheep. Those the sheep. sheep. Yeah. They're the worst. Now Liz like cries every time she sees sheep. She Why? thinks about her sheep all the time. Wait, it lived at your house? I mean, it lived just down the street in a in a field. And, and what would you do? Go look at it every day? What are you talking about? They fed it, they raised it, and sold it at auction. And oh yeah, just, for that broke Liz. Or a or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That it broke sheep. Liz. So now yeah. she's not vegetarian, but she cries every. Like I'm vegetarian. Meat. I'll still eat steak, snake. <laughs> um, and a handful of meat, but Eggs, I won't eat lamb, bacon. <laughs> bacon. Yeah, but I won't eat lamb, which I never ate before because it's yeah. always been disgusting. It is gross. Yeah, yeah, gamey. Okay, well, is it that the python meat tastes like chicken? I'm in. Yeah, I mean, it's probably a white flesh, like uh, like mm -hmm. alligator or crocodile or any of when those. you call it flesh, it just like. That doesn't it make it as appealing. It? Yeah. Okay, you got to call it meat. Meat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's consumable. Flesh. No. Yeah. Yeah. I. I think we could save the world with this. I'm not so desperate yet that I need to turn to snake eating. I. Mm -hmm. I think we're just. You're go like right now. You're saying all the positives, but once we get like knee deep in snake farming, we're gonna realize all the <laughs> negatives. Like little kids are just disappearing. We don't know. <laughs> Knee like, deep in snake farming. Yeah, yeah especially just, in Florida, they have a python problem. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you have this python problem, and like the only places you could you can uh, do uh, uh, snake farming is like the frozen tundra. So Canada can snake farm, uh, Alaska, and anything because they can't escape. Because if they escape, saying? they're dying. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it's not really sustainable because they're not in a natural habitat that can sustain them with little to no effort. So then you're going to have to have these generators come in to produce the tropical climate that's uh, needed. I think a giant snake orgy, like thousands of snakes, is enough riding to keep over warm. each other. They would. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. They're cold blooded, Dan. Have you ever seen snakes have you ever survive winter here? It, like rattlesnakes, they just have giant piles of uh, snakes underground writhing over each other. Giant snake orgies underground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's enough. Those are free range snakes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. The best <laughs> kind. A little gamey. Okay. All right. Well, it is mid-March, and that means a lot of young people are out there celebrating spring break. Tyson, are you seeing any spring breakers down in Mexico? Uh, I will tell you, and this is probably, I'm probably going to receive some backlash for this. Uh -oh. but no. We flew down to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, because it was the only cheap-ish flight we could find during this spring break. Mm -hmm. And it's so many people. We get to the airport. Customs was so long. Uh, it didn't matter what line you were in. It was long. Then once you go through customs to baggage claim, there's another line that's like three times longer than that to get just through the declarations part. And it wound on itself with no rhyme or reason, just snaking through oh, the baggage nice, claim. Nice. And where it almost touched at one point, the older couple sitting next to me on the plane was crisscrossing us like halfway up the line. And I just said, oh, there you guys are and stepped in line with them <laughs> with my family and the people Shut behind that. us got pissed. And the lady said, these are my grandkids. And we <laughs> moved along. We made eye contact. We both understood what we were doing. And I had made friends enough with them on the plane that for, I don't know, 17 hours in that line or whatever, they were my kids, grandkids. Or wow. Parents. Yeah, Dude, it was excellent work. It was probably an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah. In line with them. Just Tyson's eyes are so good at communicating. Mm -hmm. Like they just could read his eyes. Yeah, it's a yeah. gift. And the people yeah. apologized behind us. Oh, sorry. There's a lot of people trying to <laughs> oh, the line. They're like, not yeah, listening. I, I bet a lot of them haven't won Survivor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so, true. yeah. Got through it. Still took a long time, but uh, we're out of the way here. But I know that all of those people that were in line are there in uh, 
are are there in Puerto Vallarta just swarming over Fighting each other, mm-hmm. paying uh, outlandish prices at the market. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, one of the other hot spots for spring break is, of course, Southern Florida. Uh, and people are lining up for a certain shot that they call the hurricane shot where you pay $30 to get a shot. And this particular bartender, Ayana Callis, then slaps you in the face incredibly hard. Is she extra oh. strong? I don't know how strong she is, but she looks like, okay, let me let me see it. Let me Listen, share this, okay? This sounds like a bro thing for sure. Okay. Yeah, look, look at the guy in the All picture. Right. Yeah. All right, here we go. So, then, Chad, so this guy, Chad. this guy does a, <laughs> does, here does a shot. I'm gonna turn the sound off. He does does a shot, okay, and then gets thrown with a bucket, a pitcher of water in the face. Yeah, and then that, a 360 slap from the bartender. Oh my gosh, that happened! I'd have to tell Liz about it. <laughs> like Liz, I got slapped by a bartender in a bikini. I, She's in a bikini too. I'd have to. Pro- I probably just. I don't know. Dig a hole in the ground, find a snake pit. You know, the water is a great theatrical Dude, addition because it makes the slap look even better. She makes so much money. She yeah, found she this does. niche where all these weirdos are coming out being like, oh, she, yeah. She my hates name is, them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she, well, and, and the, she's like so happy to slap a spring oh, breaker yeah. across the face. Like, how could you not? Yeah. So like cookies. Yeah. So basically, this is her website where you can book. This first, you get like you do the shot, then uh-huh. she pours a pitcher of water o- uh, over your head, and then slaps you in the face. And yeah. people are lining up for this. Mm-hmm. Hold on, for Hurricane Diana's website wants to know if I have any questions. Uh, ask her <laughs> if her slaps hurt. For sure, they hurt um, because the, the oh, pain yeah, of a name in. put Danny <laughs> put Danny Bryson no, in don't there. Don't put my name in there. The pain of a slap <laughs> isn't just in the strength of the slap; it's also the uh, insulting feeling that comes with the slap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People, yeah. they, people love it. They go nuts. Yeah, it's like Chad's uh, and Brad's lining up for miles longer than the airport line to get slapped. Yeah. To mm-hmm. Just get belittled in public. It's just a thing they like. Yeah, yeah. But people are lining up for this. Uh, that she worked forty-five days in a row uh, last year during spring break. And how much did it, she charge? Um, thirty. Well, it's thirty dollars just for a shot. Thirty dollars so, a shot that comes with the slap. Mm-hmm. You know what? Kudos to her because slapping, I've never slapped anyone that I can remember, but I can't imagine slapping not taking a toll on your hand, on your hand. and arm, yeah. mm-hmm. especially with that spin. She does a little spin, goes into the slap with all her weight. That can't be easy. She probably trains for months. Yeah. So in a given night, they say that she can make about six grand a night. Six slapping grand spring night. breakers so let's I say see. she's working she said 45 days <laughs> mm-hmm. at five grand a night that's yeah. a well, I mean, that's it's, it's a slow night yeah yeah that's a good year right mm-hmm. there. i said put on a speedo go down to the beach and offer shots with a slap or a full or a full punch to or a note. spin or a spin <laughs> kick <laughs> like a spin a kick would be awesome <laughs> <It's> just like <laughs> here's your shot pop as <laughs> 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 Yeah. Uh yeah. I don't think I'm pretty enough, honestly, to get away with that. Uh yeah. Uh, but Chuck yeah. Norris should do it. People would pay to get a spin <laughs> kick from Chuck Norris. Yeah. Like, should Chuck Norris be down at the spring break? Yeah. He could only he do a be. couple. He could only do a couple though. He, yeah, you know, he's like 90 now. I know. I his birthday just barely happened. That's what made me think of it. But he could probably still do a spin kick and charge like fifteen hundred dollars to take a Chuck Norris spin kick no, after a I shot. think he could charge mm-hmm. more. I think ten thousand dollars to get yeah. a spin kick from Chuck yeah. Norris because then Dude. you'd only need to do one a night. Yeah, I think he could do it. He should get down there quick before it's over. <laughs> <laughs> How much for a Chuck Norris uh, shot? I just said ten grand. <laughs> ten ten thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, for a spin ten grand kick. for the spin it's kick. It's not a slap. That's the spectacle. These spring breakers don't have ten thousand dollars. Yeah, one know of the Chuck Norris is. is. Yeah, we'll, yeah. yeah. Bring this service to Coachella or bring it to Coachella. Then. Good yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Now, the ultimate spring break, of course, is the Olympics, especially now because, you know, we had a couple of like COVID Olympics, but this year, the Paris Olympics, we are so back because they've announced at the Paris Olympics, they will be handing out 300,000 
condoms just oh at the Olympic gosh. Village. And is that news. just is that all just directly to Wilt Chamberlain or are, <laughs> <laughs> or are they distributing those? I think they're distri distributing them evenly. Again, this is a mind blowing amount of condoms uh, yeah. to the four some for some. Speak for athletes. yourself, Rob. Speak yeah, for yourself, Rob. Rob. <laughs> Yes, but again, apparently that we've talked about this before. These Olympic yeah. villages. This is uh, this is the ultimate spring break. Uh, giant HPV snake pit. cesspool. Yeah, mm -hmm. snake pit of slithery snake naked pit people. Of, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spring breakers. Uh, and, and if you get slapped there, there's some strong people. Oh, Which do you think is more incestual, that mm -hmm. or like a, a survivor reunion party that doesn't uh, isn't official? Hmm. Good question. Yeah, they don't pass out any condoms at these uh, survivor parties. They should. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 But so, so it's smart of them. I think so. I remember in uh, one of the countries, they had like uh, cardboard beds that couldn't support the weight of two people on them. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think that was during one of the COVID games. I think that was in okay. the last couple of years. Okay. Uh, yeah. I do they, have bad. They were trying to frown upon that. I do have bad news, though. Yes. Uh -oh. I read an article recently that said Paris will not be providing air conditioning. So to the people, to the athletes. Mm -hmm. Now they can go out and get their own. Only air the French team. Only the French uh, team. Probably. Gets air conditioning. <laughs> uh, so I, I don't know how far that goes in mm -hmm. actual. But I don't know how much you're going to be willing to tango in the Paris humidity after doing your Olympic thing when it's like uh, super hot, super humid, no air conditioning. It, just yeah. like 300,000 condoms, they'll have mm. 299,000 condoms left over when this is done with no air conditioning. That's insane. Hmm. Do they are do they have like Olympic logos on them so that it's just like oh, a yeah, there's item? Hmm, they should. Yeah, would be I don't cool. know if they have a picture of the condoms, hmm. They're they should look like the gold legit. medal. Actually, no, no that's should... only performance for based at the end, I think. Yeah, I was going to say break it down in size from the gold, silver, and bronze. I think they come in a package where the five condoms are sort of like laid out oh, like the Olympics logo. Yeah, like the Olympics rings. Nice. Yeah. You know, I just thought condoms Three could all be low. one size if they were shrink wrap. Like there's like a huge size and then you get a hot air blower and then shrink it down. <laughs> so wait, you think so you hit it with the with your air, your hair yeah, dryer? Yeah, with the provided um, hair dryer in the in hotel the room. Hotel. Shrink so it basically down. like a, Well, that's a why there's no AC. This cuz that Yeah, heat, it will automatically will down, automatically yeah. shrink it down. You, yeah. You'd like like condoms like it's almost like a like a, a roll of tape or like aluminum yeah. foil where well, like, that you just take off as much as you need. Yeah, like every guy gets a magnum, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no embarrassment there. Then he goes in the mm -hmm. bathroom and shrinks it down to the appropriate size. Hmm. Well, what about this, Danny? And maybe this is the business idea until that uh, technology exists. Takes off. Yeah. Is uh, you, Danny, since you have time because you're not uh, doing all the holiday prep and stuff, <laughs> buy a bunch of magnums, put okay. little put little peewees inside the wrapper of the magnum. So use the magnum wrappers with the peewee condoms. And oh, that's a good idea. Those. Yeah. Yeah. Although yeah. I will say, you know what? The Magnum condoms might be actually perfect for Danny would make one hell of a leprechaun trap. I'm just saying. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Danny. Uh, <it's laughs> too late. I, them. I need yeah. to make plans for next year starting right now. So uh -huh. this is good to mm -hmm. be brainstorming. Just yeah, like put on. like a penny like right on this, and then the leprechaun <laughs> right goes in the there edge. and he can't get out. So too slippery. <laughs> I don't think on the inside. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you have some kind of spring loaded like uh, snare that closes the. End. Yeah, a mouse trap. I think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, the Suffolk is if that's airtight, that's going to kill that leprechaun. Should be. I can't. I can't support that unless we're farming leprechauns for me. Yeah. How much meat do you get out of a leprechaun? <laughs> they're pretty girthy. Like they're short. You think and they're stout. well marbled. I think, they, oh my gosh, totally. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Well aged marbled yeah. meat. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, no intimacy ban at the Paris Olympics this year. I did hear this was a last minute thing, though. There was going to be some kind of ban, right? Come and then on. now they're like, dude, no, we can't Let stop. Let people live. Young, attractive yeah. people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, come on. Just okay. The peak of life. <laughs> so, is that. 
Okay, go ahead. We've got another uh, interesting story from around the globe. We like to talk about, uh, you know, people in the job market. Now, this is to our listeners in the UK, and there is a job opening where you can now get a spot in the coveted Antarctica Penguin Post Office. Exciting. So wait. Yes. You can get a job there and you work with penguins or penguin is the I name I think they the just town? call it the Penguin Post Office. Um, that it's in Port Lockroy. Danny, have you, is that on your bucket list, Antarctica? Oh my gosh, I would love to go. It's just okay. so expensive. Well, not if you have a job there, but not if you, yeah, maybe if you get a job, Liz. you need to be a UK citizen. It's for UK <laughs> oh, residents only. Oh. Um, so there is the Antarctica post office where there are six people. Uh, they're looking for six more people to work there uh, for a shift starting in November and ending in March 2025. It's a historic site that gets 18,000 visitors a year that process 80 thousand letters and postcards can we do the math what? on this Eighteen thousand people come mm -hmm. and then it, it's just like the whole gimmick that you yeah, just like send nope. a postcard to granted. everybody you know from antarctica yeah you'd probably have to so here's the new job is get up there take some dope photos doper than any other postcards get postcards made and sell them oh good idea hmm. yeah okay yeah. All right. Well, it's not all glamorous. Okay. That part of your job is to take care of the 1500 penguins mm -hmm. that are nearby. Okay. But you then have How? to, do you have to baby bird them? They, you have to, they say that, that they will have to keep count of the penguins. I don't know if that means that make sure Every none of them morning. get loose, like the pythons yeah. mm -hmm. penguin count. Okay. Yeah. You will share a room with five other people. Oh, I thought you were going to say penguins. Yeah. You will go extended periods of time without phone or internet and mm. up to two weeks without showering. That's gross. <laughs> In a room you share with four other people who haven't showered for two weeks. There is no running water on the island. You know, the fascinating... Why, Why is this? Why is this? <laughs> because because it's Antarctica. they make bank... Tyson, they're making bank during that short period of time when people are sending five letters per person off the cruise ship yeah. back home. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not sure necessarily how much money uh, this is because I think, I guess that this is in pounds. Uh, but basically, uh, if I do the conversion real quick, that you'll make about $1,700 a month. Whoa. Hmm. That is not great. Yeah, but when you're not showering or doing anything, you're saving yeah. almost there's, all of There's all of nothing that. to spend money on. You're so eating penguins. Your expenses are you're minimal. Also sending postcards. What if you're sending postcards too, mm -hmm. though, spending $1,700 a month on I was The whole time we've been talking about this, I've been trying to think if I know anyone's address to send an actual postcard to. And other than my own, I don't, I don't know. A what about your parents? Person. No, I don't know their yeah. address. What about your childhood home? You could just send it there, whoever. I could there. send it there to the squatters who live there now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, I wouldn't, I can't send three postcards. Yeah. 1050 yeah. East, 135 South, Linden, Utah is getting a postcard from me. From Antarctica. Help from me. Antarctica. <laughs> send a plane. I am currently working in the they, Antarctic Post Office. I grew up in that house and uh, my family has not owned that house for 20 years, but they're getting the postcard. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, be prepared to have some uh, different uh, tinned foods and occasionally some fresh fish from visiting ships. Mm. Oh, nice. Not interested. <laughs> this is for an adventurer who wants to be a blogger who doesn't have a following yet. A this blogger? So a someone blogger. from 2007. A a vlogger. Oh, vlogger. Let's do it. Oh. I said blogger, but I meant vlogger because <laughs> blogging is vlogging. Now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So get that that uh, up and coming vlogger out there. Get them a job, and they will be so happy. Okay. Um, from the penguin vlogger, let's go to the penguin yager as okay. this mysterious case of eighteen thousand. Missing bobbleheads uh, were reported stolen. Did, have, have you heard about this case? 
No, but I've heard of bobbleheads. Yes, bobbleheads. Yeah. So there was a big bobblehead doll night uh, for the Pittsburgh Penguins mm -hmm. where uh, legendary Yaramir Yager was going to have a bobblehead night. And somebody ended up stealing all 18,000 Yaramir Yager bobbleheads. Are it they worth more now or less? <laughs> hmm. So one comes on the market and they know who it was. Right. Right. I don't know how you move these hot Yarmir Yager bobbleheads. Yeah. Uh, you'd have to what is just dumb claim that you built them yourself. Yeah, it's a dumb crime. Really mm -hmm. dumb. I mean, maybe there's something in there, like some small amount of like copper. <laughs> They'll melt them down yeah. for copper. <laughs> well, so the truck uh, that they were in ended up uh, getting looted here. Do you think that the thieves knew what they were stealing? Good point. Imagine the look on their faces when they opened all those boxes. What is it? They're bobbleheads. <laughs> we killed a security guard for mm -hmm. 18,000 bobbleheads. Oh, man. So good. Dude, so that's good. when the infighting begins over the job. Like everyone in each other. <laughs> everyone. Canada that has a bobblehead of a hockey player on their dashboard in their car is getting pulled over by the <laughs> horses, guys on horses just chasing down. I don't know how Canada works, mm -hmm. but well, this was in Pittsburgh. There. Oh, Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh Penguin. Oh, okay. Pittsburgh. So every yeah, I think Pittsburgh penguins are pretty hot in yeah. Pittsburgh. So uh yeah, still everyone's getting pulled over. And yeah. uh yeah. Uh, Luke McDowell says he thinks they got the guy. Okay. Update. He thinks that so they got the said up that it's update. I have not seen any update. I've not uh, gotten that update. Yeah. I don't know. He's he, the Luke uh, seems pretty certain that they got the guy. Uh, but Pittsburgh penguins, uh, bobbleheads, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's gotta be a way to, to move those though. If they're in, hot demand you just like leak a couple of them out and be like oh maybe a box here's what you do take one box back just place it at the stadium somewhere people find it they're like oh there's a uh, 30 of them that's good distribute those once those get distributed you can go on and start selling them on ebay and be like there's only 30 of these in existence the rest got stolen and then start selling them <laughs> Wow, yeah. this this made a lot of news. I'm trying yes. to find an update, but this is everywhere. The bobblehead theft of 2024. Mm -hmm. um, was, the Philadelphia was... Flyers mascot Gritty uh, tweeted on social media that it was him. Oh, Gritty! Oh, come <laughs> on that that better not be this. The case. Isn't this no? Isn't what is happening, joke, California? Yeah I, yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Not a joke, oh, Gritty. gritty. Okay. All right, no time for joking, Gritty. Too, okay. too soon. Okay, um, this is a story from the uh, future news uh, F department uh, that nearly 50% of U.S. parents are financially supporting uh, at least one adult child. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if my parents took that survey, they'd still... <laughs> 100%. <laughs> 100 percent. if my parents were the only ones polled 100 percent of parents yeah and it's not me mm -hmm. what's interesting is that i saw something recently about how uh children are complaining that their parents are moving back in to their house now oh my god i mean what's what's there's only two here? types of people in this world people that yeah. are getting supported by their parents or people that are supporting their parents mm -hmm. yeah what's the truth here so mm -hmm. let me ask you this do you love your kids enough that if they're like 40 and they're like, Hey, can I come back and live with you? You'd be like, sure. As long as you mow the lawn. <laughs> Would uh, they do that? Can I get that deal? Probably. It'd probably be like, I'm not if they're willing the to mow the lawn. And then Rachel would be like, you can still come back and live. Yeah. With us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you yeah. take that right now. If you can get that, that they'll actually do something. Yeah. yeah that would be yeah. nice. You take it right now. But what I'm saying is I lived away from home for uh probably like a decade mm -hmm. and then when i came back my mom was like you can live with us if you want like i remember her offering and i did live with them and they loved it 
Mm -hmm. I so, think there's something about being an older parent and, and, and still seeing lonely. your well, yeah, yeah, that and seeing your kids as a certain age that's not representative of their real age. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's the only reason I can excuse yeah. parents for allowing adult children to. Act They're the still they your babies. Exactly. That's what they always say. Still my babies. And everybody yeah. else who's watching the situation unfold is like, that's no baby. That's <laughs> a guy who uh, has never yeah. tried. Yeah. <laughs> Dox wants to say, imagine still building leprechaun traps for your 40 year old. <laughs> <laughs> They will be the best leprechaun traps ever. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this kid uh hopefully has gone through engineering programs, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. understands physics, all of that and builds the sickest actually catches a leprechaun and then what? You have to tort you have to be willing to torture the leprechaun. He's not giving up the gold. Like, <laughs> you have to torture the leprechaun. Yeah, 100%. He's not going to tell you. Yeah, that's what I always ask my kids when they were building the traps. What are you going to do once you get it? Do you realize that he's not just going to spill the beans? You're going to have to like he waterboard won't talk. him. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So should we start buying like real gold and be like, I got this as a kid when I tortured a leprechaun? <laughs> <laughs> like, mm -hmm. How do you no. keep up the ruse? I, I just, <laughs> what we need to do is start selling the like the leprechaun waterboarding kit on amazon <laughs> for all the parents to buy their kids of like hey how are you gonna get them to talk okay with, you need the, the car hood, battery and clamps. you get the bucket okay <laughs> why not a ball gag and a feather <laughs> um i think uh, that's getting a little yeah, like, Tyson. yeah we'll provide a waterboarding it's, torture it's not set. for his enjoyment yeah <laughs> okay it's not supposed to be fun okay yeah yeah you got to get him to talk <laughs> yeah You're, he's not you gonna send him to leprechaun is. guantanamo bay okay um. when i bring this up with my nieces and nephews about the you're going to have to be willing to go pretty far to get that yeah. gold yeah uh, none of them have the stomach for it and so then i say well then why build you the don't trap? want it that bad why yeah. build the trap yeah mm-hmm uh, Kate says little bitty jumper cables. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can sell all the leprechaun torture devices with just a nine volt battery and little teeny jumper cables that just to mess with you just trying to scare them. <laughs> yeah. You don't even really have to do it. If have, it looks good. They have to spark when you touch them. They have to yeah. spark yeah. at the bare minimum. Yeah. You know, if you have two kids, one's got to be the good cop. The other's got to be the bad cop. Yeah, now we Very sell a manual, mm -hmm. like interrog CIA interrogation tactics for those who have caught a leprechaun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and then, Danny, I saw this one today, and I thought of you, okay? Uh, this is an article here from NBC News uh, that's entitled, Meet the Families Who've Taken Children as Young as Two to Everest Base Camp. These people are so obnoxious. <laughs> Um, these people who get their kids to climb mountains at extremely young ages are your part of me is like, that's impressive. The other part of me is that's really annoying, mm -hmm. right? Everyone's trying to get the age down. What's the youngest child to have done something? It's like the Guinness book of world records. No, none of that is for that. This is to post a picture. On that's what I just said. It, dude, <laughs> it's for, it's like the Guinness book of world record for vloggers. Like it's the yeah. way to get oh. the hype directed. Let's go work youth. at the Antarctica post office already like with our, with our one month old. They don't have to be the youngest. Like if I got my five-year-old and my eight-year-old to Everest base camp and we went and took some good photos and publicized it it would go bizarre. no nope. think about your thumbnail tyson if you could put on your thumbnail we took our the youngest child ever to base camp that's a pretty good thumbnail right there mm -hmm. uh, you could put sure. up on youtube rather than my five-year-old everyone will be like five-year-old dude they're taking nine month olds up to the summit yeah but and listen a five-year-old to base camp you they love that news. tipping ceremony you got to teach <laughs> your kid to sell because uh the youngest person to sail around the world by themselves was uh, this 16 year old girl one of the worst movies i've ever seen but if you can <laughs> what movie all, was that i don't know young sailor or some young shit. sailor yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you could get uh danny all of our kids are young enough that if we started training them now and got them to go around the world we yeah. would be absolute super look at this look at this family photo danny this could have been your christmas card my gosh, so pretentious. 
Mm -hmm. I hate Christmas cards with their stupid family photo and a list of all the accomplishments they've done. So you think that Chris and Cindy Matulus choppered in this kid mm -hmm. as close to base <laughs> camp as possible and then had her walk up. She's probably like sucking oxygen to a straw. <laughs> Just permanent like, brain her damage. Lips are turning purple. Uh, yeah, permanent brain damage. They get the picture, they're like, all right, quick, post it on Instagram before that family behind us with the four-year-old comes up and gets this picture. The other thing that's always bothered me about Everest Base Camp is that the spray painted rock. Could there be any more of a ghetto uh, place to mark an accomplishment? It hmm. really is always just a spray painted rock. Yeah. It's it's just like Everest has kind of become a joke, if I could be honest. Yeah. Just a big trash can that now has diapers. Kids. Yeah. Now there's diapers there. Imagine. These kids at base camp. Yeah, look at that. They I would love be it. So annoyed. They're loving it. Yeah. They do love it. They're just like, smile. You smile or you're not getting mm -hmm. the leprechaun trap. Well, when we get home. the best part is when these kids write this book. 15 years from now about yep. how they resent their parents and how they yeah. destroyed their childhood by okay. trying to is this what the Menendez's did to their kids <laughs> <laughs> well the article says uh that the journey had some setbacks cindy said carrying hazel was sometimes a struggle uh especially on a day when rain created slippery mud on the trail that rose to their knees uh, i could have carried hazel no yeah. problem dude. she says That's i was absolutely thing. miserable um mm -hmm. Uh, at another point, she said their son, Hobie, then age 11, hit his head and had to be examined by a medic. Uh, Maybe. Henry, who was nine at the time, got a fever. And Haley, age six, developed a deep blister that briefly prevented oh her from gosh. walking. Meanwhile, the malnourished children do all of this live... at Disneyland. Well, no, there's people who are raising kids in, mm -hmm. in this situation. It's like they think this is some accomplishment, but the locals are have raising entire families and making a scraping a living off of the land. And it's like, we carried our kid in the finest gear to base camp. Look at mm -hmm. us. It's like, there's a family right off the side of the picture. You can't see who's like, we've raised five strong children who can climb to the top of Everest without oxygen and have eaten nothing but lichen for like 20 <laughs> years. It's like, I don't know. It's just, it's really annoying. Okay, what, one other anecdote uh, that also there was one day that Cindy noticed blood on her shirt while carrying Hazel. She said, oh, my gosh, is there something wrong with Hazel? Uh, did she get cut? And it turned out that the blood was coming from a leech on Cindy's stomach. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's the best yes. story you've told. At one point, the whole family pulled leeches off their feet. Yeah, and they never felt better after a little <laughs> bloodletting. <laughs> How are you getting leeches? Like, not in, are they in swamps? What's going on here? Yeah, that is, dude, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We should move on. This <laughs> okay. is annoying me. All right, yeah, yeah, let, let's move, let's move on to your bolt hole. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Here exactly. we go. I can't. I can't even build a leprechaun trap for my kids, and these people are taking theirs to Everest in North Face gear. And, yeah. All right. Here's Danny's bolt hole. Welcome to my bolt hole. I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna feel you belong. All right. Danny's bolt hole. Here we go. So many relevant stories in my bolt hole. But I'm I'm gonna talk about this one. A new okay, Smeet came and went, right? Yeah. It had its yeah. moment. Now we're on to snake meat. Now we're on to snake meat, but South Korean scientists, mad scientists, might be a great way to phrase this, have come up with something called beef rice. Beef new, rice. Beef mm -hmm. rice, a new source of protein for the future. And it uses stem cells from the bovine to infuse the rice with fat and protein. So it's basically flakes that are pink they look so unappetizing <laughs> oh no they look like pink maggots uh with different shades of pink from dark pink to light pink uh in a bowl and they've already been consumed by humans people have eaten a bowl of um beef rice, rice. Beef. yeah yes. reef. we call it reef i guess reef or bice i don't know we yeah can, we can workshop that later tyson would you try it yeah yeah, yeah I, you know, I it. thought it could taste the good. side of python. Yeah, with this a big old python steak on the side. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, sure, more appealing to me than smeat. 
Like yeah. I would have eaten Smeed if it had become big uh, because I hate cows. But this <laughs> one looks a little, it's just rice infused with actual beef yeah. protein. It, I can imagine it actually tasting good because I love rice. Yeah. After so. a couple of weeks at the Antarctica post office, like, oh this my is gosh. probably going to be pretty appetizing. Yeah, like, dude, no more canned ham or spam. <laughs> Give me some of that rice beef. So uh, the right. people who the people who have eaten it, they say that it's not the worst thing in the world, which if you're looking for an endorsement, I don't know if this is the best endorsement you can get, but mm -hmm. it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's also not as good as actual flesh from a cow. Okay. And they said flesh or you said, no, flesh. I threw that in there. Cause you use flesh. And I was like, yeah, that's a great way to phrase it. So, um, yeah, be on the lookout for rice beef. Uh, if you, uh, want to try it with your snake meat, it could be a great, you know, companion to that dish. Okay. Yeah. All right. We got a lot of positive feedback. I, I had asked on last week's show, uh, does the audience like when we work on creating the thumbnail for the episode using AI mm -hmm. in the show? And we got a lot of nice comments. People said they do like that. They love oh. it. They love it. Good cool. use of AI, people said. Yeah. Uh, can yeah. we do Tyson slap shot? So, Tyson, oh, so you want Tyson Apostle getting doing slapping? a shot and getting slapped in no, the face? No, slapping someone in a shot. Uh, oh, slapping oh, someone oh in so the Tyson face. Apostle slapping a spring breaker well, in the face? In someone the face. said a thumbnail for a, uh, is the episode is a child at Everest Base Camp torturing a leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I well, do which like that. All right. I, I do like that, but it might be hard to uh, okay. get all that into a picture. All right. Um, we could try that. Uh, Tyson, Apo uh, so all right, I can run both while we're doing yeah, the plugs. may as well run both. Tyson run Apostle both. slapping a spring breaker in the face. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, what do we want to have a leprechaun, a, a leprechaun uh, trap? No, we want to no. have uh, a child at Everest Base Camp, okay, torturing a leprechaun <laughs> <laughs> at Everest Base Camp, torturing. A leprechaun. Thanks, Joel. Okay. For that. Yeah, that was a great one. Okay, so let's let's get the both of those. Uh, oh, we can't do that. Okay, I you know, knew the torture thing. Torturing no, is is a problem. How about tickling? Tra trapping or tickling? Trapping. 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 Leprechaun trap. Okay, that's okay. Okay, that one is approved. Can't that, that look? Safeguards are in place here. Yeah. For our to AI tools. Safe. Yes. Okay. We have to stay safe. Yeah. <laughs> all right uh that uh like I, I could tell you that the uh tyson slapping a um spring breaker in the face uh is uh I, it got very confused here i don't know we're yeah. in like a boxing match mm. it doesn't so know think, what a spring breaker is probably yeah, that's the yeah. thing you got to be smart you got to talk slapping to someone a, on the beach hmm. in the face, a beach okay. goer, a person at the beach yeah Okay, I think we might be 0 for 2. Uh, so we do have okay. the, we have the child at Everest Base Camp. Um, mm -hmm. So oh come but, but, on, but we're not getting the leprechaun. Where's the leprechaun? Here. Where's, where's the Where's the leprechaun? It put green, a, a lot of green clothing but, on. Yeah, it. yeah, and then and then this was Tyson uh, slapping the spring breaker <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Whoa, super sexy Tyson. I think that Tyson, yeah. uh, is in in this case, that I think that we got like Mike Tyson. I think is throwing it off. Yeah. Um, let's see what else we can do. Here. How we about got... a leprechaun slapping a child in the face? <laughs> hmm. A leprechaun slapping a bobblehead hockey player in the face uh, oh, with itty bitty jumper cables. Hmm. Uh, there's a lot to it. Yeah. There's a lot. Uh, I would. How about do a leprechaun slapping just a person in the face? Okay. Hmm. Uh, or what about if a child is slapping a leprechaun in the face? Yes. Okay. I yes. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a <laughs> young child slapping, on a pile of gold <laughs> slapping a leprechaun in the face uh, in on front a of a pile of gold. Of gold. You know what yeah. would make this easier would be if AI would just listen to our podcast. <laughs> And then just give us some ideas. Give us the best one. Okay. Yeah, All right. Like, well, Danny, in the meantime, why don't you tell us what you're going to be up to? Oh, yeah. What am I going to be up to? Oh, um, geez. Still working on the ultimate uh, vlogging musical album mm -hmm. to put mm -hmm. on my videos. Cool. Uh, I, I tell you, it's not as easy as I'd hoped. 
I still like, is there an AI tool for music? It seems like it would be I the think easiest they're, thing they're to do. They're probably out there, but I don't know of one. Yeah. But big music is holding it back from the world because mm -hmm. pop music is like the easiest thing to assemble. Yeah. These producers. AI, right. Me. Yeah. So yeah, I'm trying, I'm working on that. And then hopefully I can get out here in the next week or two and go do a life threatening adventure. Maybe I'll take my kids, the youngest one, mm -hmm. you know, put her at risk for some sweet um, subscribers. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be worth it. Uh, and then, yeah, that, that's about it. What about you, Tyson? Um, I am covering Survivor. We had a really good chat with uh, Lauren last week, one of our yes. highest I you tweeted revered. About it. Yes. One of our highest revered episodes. We had a lot of fun. Uh, and just wrapping up vacation here in Mexico, not coming home for till the end of the week, and then moving homes. So we've got wow. that um and then uh yeah just uh still doing that coming out with a custom hat from imperial headwear that's yes. a tyson oh, possible cool. signature we're either gonna do some signed editions or some giveaways or something so be on the lookout for that and uh um yeah and then i'm just on call 24 7 <laughs> from the hotel to see a crocodile, crocodile. at You're the crocodile. ponds next door at the preserve so Fingers crossed That's for that. Exciting. I'm going to walk down there right after this and just look around, see if there's a croc to be seen. Take okay. some snake meat and chuck it into the water. All yeah. right. Um, here's some options of the child. Uh, so uh, here we have one, uh, mm -hmm. but no leprechaun. He's not here. The leprechaun <laughs> is that the leprechaun or is that the child i think that's the child okay, okay. uh here we've got the leprechaun <laughs> here but nobody's being slapped okay. okay i don't mind that one this guy uh, looks like yes. the kid is eating the gold yes. I like <laughs> you like that one uh yeah. this kid is uh oh, yeah, screaming that, yeah that yes. makes sense right there yeah. got uh there's an uh Okay, it Here. can't do some violence, obviously. Yeah, like, just do violence. And then, and then these are some more realistic ones. Uh, this is a <laughs> unhappy child. Uh -huh. uh, these are children seemingly fighting over the gold on St. Yeah. Patrick's Day morning. Yep. Uh, this is a greedy young man <laughs> having <laughs> killed the leprechaun, I guess. Uh, and then this child is like uh, has to, like some like leprechaun types looking on. Uh huh. Um, I don't mind those. I kind of like the one with the that eating this one man yeah. or the eating or the eating gold. the gold. Mm -hmm. yeah, that one or the eating gold. <laughs> I think this one has the leprechaun. I think if we call the episode uh, "Leprechaun Traps" or "News AF." Yeah. Okay. I, I just wish that. there was more slapping. I think the AI is hesitant to do anything yeah. violent. Ashley, yeah. Ashley in the chat had one that said "child crying" because there was no leprechaun trap. So I was thinking "child crying" as leprechaun runs away <laughs> with. Danny Bryson standing in the background smiling. Oh, yeah. But that would be too much. That's a, that's yeah. a lot. That's a lot. I think that I think probably more than two things I think is uh is tough. Yeah. We'll get better at this. Yeah. Okay? All right. But that's that's your awesome. AI generated news AF thumbnail and of course we've got everything coming up with Survivor. We'll be back at it tomorrow night here on robhasawebsite.com. All right. Thank you so much for joining us once again. We'll be back next week. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye. We did it, guys.